Hi everybody, we're gonna do a new foundations lesson today. We're learning something new in foundations this week. So I thought it'd be a good chance for me to do a video for you so we can learn it together. To get started, make sure you've got your foundations board with you and your marker ready to go. Because in a little bit, we're gonna do some examples and I'll do them on the board and you can do them along with me. So what we're learning new this week are, is called digraphs. And we've talked about it in the classroom a little bit already, um, but now we're really gonna get into it in foundations. So again, what we're talking about is called diagraphs. And what a diagraph is, it's two consonants, two consonant letters that put together make one new sound. So again, a diagraph are two consonant letters, two different consonant letters, and they put together to make one new sound. So the diagraphs that we're going to be learning and working on in foundations are WH, TH, CH, SH, and CK. So these are our letter picture sound cards for our diagraphs. So let's go through them together and we'll do it just like we do the sound cards for the letters in the alphabet, but now we're doing them for digraphs. So our first one is WH, whistle, wuh. WH, whistle, wuh. Good job, make sure you're repeating after me. The next one is TH, thumb, TH, thumb, now, notice when I do the TH diagraph, I'm making the sound and your tongue should come out a little bit between your teeth when you're making that sound. TH, thumb, good job. The next diagraph is CH, CH, chin, ch, CH, chin, ch, good job. Next one is S H, S H ship, sh, S H ship, sh. Good. And last but not least is C K, C K sock, k, C K sock, k. Good. These are the five digraphs that we're going to be focusing on and learning in foundations in kindergarten. Now remember. They're made up of two separate consonant letters that when they're putting together, they're making a new sound. So like for example, SH, our diagraph SH. S and an H put together makes the digraph sound sh. It doesn't make their sound, the letter sound separately because that would be S sounds like s, H sounds like s. That's not what it sounds like, s, no. Diagraph, S-H, together sounds like sh. Awesome, good job. Make sure you're practicing these every day. I'll give you a video to practice in foundations every day, just like you do your letter picture sounds. Now you're gonna do your digraph pictures and sounds every day as well. Now, let's practice with a word that includes a diagraph. So here we go. Now, this word has four letters in it, but we can see right at the end, we have a diagraph at the end. We can still tap out this word, just like we normally do with our CVC word. When you tap out a diagraph, you tap it out together, just like it's one sound, you're tapping it out just with one finger. So I'm gonna tap this word out like this. First, I'm gonna go, mm, a, sh, blend it, mash. Again, m, a, sh, mash. Awesome. We tap our diagraphs together using just one finger because it makes just one sound. Awesome. Last time, m, a, sh, mash. Awesome. So we've got five digraphs. We just practiced how to tap it out. Let's practice how to write them. And there's a special way that we kind of mark 
uh, when we're writing what we see when we see a diagraph. So I'm going to move our big writing grid up here. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. And I want you to get out your boards and your markers. So we're going to tap out some words together that have diagraphs in them, and then we are going to be practicing writing them together as well. So first thing is, whenever you see a diagraph in a word, what we want to do is we want to make sure we put a line under the diagraph. We underline the diagraph in the word. So keep that in mind, and we're going to do it together now. Okay, our first word is... I'll tap it out and then you tap it and blend it with me. Ready? The first word is ch, ch, a, p, chop. Again, ch, a, p, chop. Awesome. Okay. So let me put our diagram cards back up here to help us. Now, think about it. What's that first sound you heard? Ch, ch, ch. What diagraph? makes the ch sound. Good, the ch, ch, chin, ch. But this one is ch, a, p, chop. Awesome, okay, so our diagraph is ch. So I'm gonna start with the plain line and make a nice c. And I'm gonna start at the skyline to make a nice lowercase h. Very good, ch. Ah, ah, what vowel do you hear? Oh, good job. Ch, ah, p, good, p, lowercase p. Remember our p goes all the way down to the worm line. Plain line, fly with the plane and curve down around, touch that grass line. I think we've got it, tap it out again. Ch, ah, p, chop. Now, remember what I said right when we started this, to make sure that we're noticing our diagraphs whenever you write a word or you're seeing a word in foundations that have a diagraph in, you, in them, I want you to underline, that means put a line underneath the diagraph. So the diagraph in our word here is the CH -ch sound. So go ahead and put a line under it on your boards. So you should have chop written on here with the CH underlined. Good job, okay, let's move on. I'm gonna erase my board, go ahead and erase your board. And let's practice two more digraphs today. Okay, here we go, ready, tap it out. D, a, k, duck, d, a, k, duck. Awesome, what's the first letter sound you hear? D. D, good, D. Okay, remember, lowercase d starts at the plane line. Plane line, curve down around, touch the grass line, all the way back up to the skyline. Trace all the way down, make a little leg, and touch the grass line, good. D, uh, uh. What's the vowel sound you hear? U, good job. Plane line down, curve, touch that grass line, up to the plane line, trace down, make a little leg, touch the grass line. D, a, uh, k, k. What diagraph? Now I know this one's tricky and we're gonna learn another trick to help us with this because k, lots of, le two letters make the k sound and now a diagraph makes the k sound. But I'm gonna give you a hint. It is a diagraph at the end. D, uh, k. So what diagraph did we say makes the k sound? Good, C, K. So let's write in our diagraph, lowercase c and a lowercase k. Awesome. D, a, k, duck, a, uh, duck. Good. Now don't forget, underline your diagraph on your whiteboard. Underline your diagraph. Got it? Good. Let me do it as well. Good. Okay. Last one today. Let's erase duck. And we're going to do one last one. 
Okay, ready? I'm gonna tap it out, but I'm not gonna blend it. You're gonna blend this last word together. Here we go. Sh, I, p. Blend it. Good, again. Sh, I, p. Do you have the word? Did you blend it together? Okay, hopefully you got it. I'll do it with you now. Sh, I, p, ship, ship. Good job, okay. Let's tap it out and write it. So get your whiteboards all erased and here we go. What diagraph makes that first sh, sh sound? Good, S-H, sh. So lowercase s at the plane line. And we need a lowercase i. Okay, there's our diagraph, sh, i, i. What vowel do you hear? I. Good. Lowercase i. And p, p. Lowercase p. Good job. All the way down. Touch the worm line. Good. Sh. I. P. Ship. Awesome. Don't forget, underline your diagraph. What's our diagraph in this word? S H. Nice work. Awesome, so that is our very first practice with digraphs. So now we're going to keep working on them in foundations for the rest of the year. We've got our letter picture sounds, not letters, we have our digraph picture sound cards that we're gonna add into our practice every day. And we are going to make sure that we know these five new sounds. Two consonants come together and make a brand new sound. That is a digraph. Thanks a lot, boys and girls. Work hard. Make sure you keep practicing those diagraphs.